Hey guys, we're here at Pin Brew uh, 2024. We are going to install, this will be an installation video for uh, the Lighthouse mod for the Premium and LE. If you have a Premium LE uh, for the Lighthouse, you will follow this video. If you have a Pro, it'll be slightly different. Um, so tools you will need, you will need a, a wire clippers, a Phillips screwdriver. This is a 11 32nd nut driver, and this is a 5 16 nut driver. Um, these are the only tools you should need. I might add them later um, as we get into it. This will be actually the first time that I've installed the Lighthouse into a premium or an LE. So it should be pretty straightforward, just like how the Pro is. There are a slight variations but nothing major uh, so when you get your mod you will get a lighthouse you will get your new acrylic air guard plastic and then you will get a goodie bag and as we dive into the mods i will show you these items as we use them um, so our first thing that we always do with our games is we take all the balls out of the machine the glasses off the power is off and we're going to start to install our lighthouse. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove this air guard, the original one for the game. Um, on the premium, it looks like we're going to have to loosen this light uh, spotlight fixture first so the air guard can come up over it. And then there's three screws into these metal posts that all have to come out. They all have washers on top of them. So we're gonna take these off. We're gonna pause the video and this piece will be removed and we'll go on to the next step. All right guys, we're back. We have the screws out. What I did notice was uh, you kinda have to like hold these posts, like especially like this one uh, back here. It's kinda walking itself out from the underside, but not a big deal. Uh, just hold it as you're unscrewing the top screw. Um, and then on this one, we're actually going to have to clip this zip tie to get that spotlight out of there. Well, what that will allow us to do is move this out of the way, kind of move that wire forward and slide it through the... Uh, acrylic. This acrylic we won't use anymore. We can put this down in the bottom of the cap. Um, so our, our next step is we want to be able to get this whole plastic out. Um, this plastic needs to come out so we can do some retrofitting underneath. We also need to remove this habit trick. So this habit trail is mounted in three locations. There's uh, one here, uh, one here, and then one here. So we're gonna use our 1130 seconds to loosen these three bolts up. And as we're taking these off, there's a, a washer on top of the habit trail that pinches this down. And um, there'll, there'll be one underneath also. And the same thing for this one. We're gonna take this one off. We're not gonna misplace any of these washers or nuts. And then we got one here. Same thing, one nut, one washer. <clears throat> And then this habit trail should come out by lifting up and pulling forward, just like that. Super easy. Probably one of the easiest habit trails I've pulled out. On the Pro, it's a little bit tighter fit back here with the shark cage and stuff like that. Um, so the next thing that I do is I will take those washers that I took off and those nuts that I took off and actually just put those back 
right in place so I don't lose them. Um, on this one, we're not going to put the nut on, but we're actually going to pull the other washer off too. And you'll see that there's an actual spacer here too underneath that. We're not going to need that going forward um, because the lighthouse will actually act as that spacer, which is kind of cool to keep the habit trail all aligned. Then we're going to put a washer back here and we're going to put our nut back on here. <clears throat> so then our next step is right, these two. That's part of the plastic. This is this one, these two are mounted to the plastic. Like mounted with screws on the underside. And I'll show you show you that when I get there. Um, but we need to pull this one off and you'll notice that there's a washer we're going to keep that washer off to the side do not lose this these posts put this stuff off to the side so our next step is we kind of want to go um, to the underside of the play field and unhook this spotlight so we can remove it completely and then um, I'll show you there's another clip there's two clips on the other side of the play field that we have to unhook one for the spotlight and then there's an RGB LED SMD board which is basically a single LED that changes four or five different colors that's mounted underneath this barrel that we're going to use to light the actual lighthouse. Because the lighthouse will now be on top of this and you lose that GI, but we have actually taken that GI and moved it into the lighthouse. Um, a lot of information. As we go, you'll kind of understand what's going on. So we're gonna pause the video. You're going to see the play field now in a vertical position when we come back and I'll show you the two clips that we have to unlock. All right guys, so we're back. The play field is vertical vertical um we're still working on the right side and you'll see here this is kind of where we're at where that spotlight was this is actual the spotlight fixture so we're going to unclip this one and then this is that rgb uh led smd that's going to be underneath that plastic and we're going to unclip that one too so these are the two one two plugs that we had to unclip under here and now we're going to put the play field back down we're going to actually set the play field on its um, play field support uh, bumpers and put this down like this and then we have to we have to lift the back of the play field up and if you have those sweet play field guides that hold the play field uh, in place they're super cool, but if you don't, you can use what I use, which are net drivers. So we have to remove this plastic still. Um, on the Pro, it doesn't have this shack thingy, or it's a little bit sh shorter. But there's a nut back here that we need to get to. So we have to, there's two screws on this side of the house the two black screws and again this is the first time that I'm doing this but I assume that this just comes off and then we'll have access to uh, that nut so we'll take these off and we'll take this off that's all we needed right this comes off we put this somewhere safe. Now we're gonna need our nut driver, which is holding the play field up, of course. We'll swap that off for a screwdriver. Hopefully we can get this. But we're gonna have to take the loosen this bracket to get it up out of the way, which is this is a Five sixteenths. Take this off real quick. There's two nuts. They each have washers on them. 
So kind of be careful as you're pulling this bracket out of the way. So pull this bracket forward, get these washers out of the way. And then if you want, you know, we can just unclip this, get this out of the way. Now we have complete access to that nut. We'll take this off. This is 5 sixteenths also. Okay. So this is all going to be loose except for the only thing that's holding this plastic down now is going to be this post for the top. And we're going to move, remove this by just sliding that up and then unscrewing this post. There's a washer underneath, which we need. This turns plastic super tight for some reason. washer out of the way and you can see what's going on. So this plastic has to come off. We'll pause the video and we're going to take a look and see what's going on here. All right, so after some wiggling and finagling, uh, on the Pro I did, this hole is like plenty big enough, but on this Premium, it's really tight. So we had to walk this plastic up. So when you walk that plastic up, you can get it off. Um, so here's our spotlight. Take this off. Uh, we're going to move our plastic to a safe location, our spotlight to a safe location. Come on, two feet, come on. Uh, they're still bringing games in at Pin Brew. Um, so we're actually, we're going to pause the video here so they can unload a, a Godzilla, and then we'll come back uh, and do the next steps. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we got the plastic off. We got Godzilla in. Uh, we got the spotlight removed. Uh, so our next step is for premium owners. We need to remove this post. We actually want to get this rubber out of the way too So you actually need a quarter inch nut driver Marvin's killing me right now Because that's not gonna fit. All right, pause the video gonna go find another quarter inch nut driver. We're back All right, we're back uh, quarter inch nut driver we're going to remove this post to get to this rubber off. And put this here for now. And we're going to put this here now. And we're going to go to our goodie bag. Um, in our goodie bag for premium owners and LE owners, uh, you're going to get a bag like this. Um, and with this screw, we don't need this nut, not right now. But this screw is going to replace this post. So we're going to put this back in like that. And we're going to take our screwdriver and screw this down. So we're going to go from a post to a screw. All right, so then our next step is we need to remove this is that RGB SMD LED board. So this is a 5 16 nut driver that's going to remove this magical piece. And we already unclipped it underneath, 
So it should just come straight out like that. We're gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna put that bolt, because there's a spacer here. Uh, we're gonna put that back down because we don't we don't really need that right now. This will lock this back up. So if you guys have shaker motors or whatever, it doesn't vibrate around and annoy people. Okay. Um, so the next step is going to be we're going to go back to our plastic. Uh, we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver. These two screws hold Stern's barrel in. We're going to pull these out. We're not going to use these anymore because the lighthouse replaces the barrel. We do have a solution for the barrel. Um, we'll show that at the end of the video. Uh, it's always good to have a magnetic screwdriver too. Uh, so our barrel's out. We can put these screws off to the plate, off to the side. We can put our barrel off to the side. We don't need that anymore for right now. Um, so what I would do next is, so uh, this post, we don't need it anymore. So we're going to take that post out because that post holds the air guard, right? So we're going to remove this post. Phillips screwdriver. Remove the post. And then what I do to clean it up, I take the screw out the bottom. Put it in the top and put that washer on the bottom and then you're going to get a lock nut that's going to come with your kit to put on the bottom um, just to make it look clean you know that way you don't have the lock nut up on top or you have a hole for no reason we'll just put that screw back in and we're going to tighten this back up You know, just snug, nothing crazy. It's a lock nut, it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, we're gonna check this back one because when we were pulling that air guard out, this kind of loosened up a little bit. So we're gonna tighten that up, guy up a little bit. All right, so now we have our plastic. <clears throat> so our plastic goes back on. Another thing, uh, if your plastic's tight when you took that, if your plastic's tight when you took that, um, when you took the plastic off because of this post, run a screwdriver, like a Phillips screwdriver or something, just to make that hole ever so slightly, just a little bit, just to make your job a little bit easier, right? Okay, so we're gonna put our plastic on. We're going to test fit our lighthouse so our lighthouse goes on this post and that post here and here okay and you'll notice on the back side of your lighthouse you have a hole that's where your your spotlight wire is going to feed through but we don't need this yet so we're going to go back to our goodie bag and in your goodie bag you're going to have this post right We're gonna have this. So we're gonna take this stuff off. We're gonna lay this off. These we don't need. Unscrew this. So you'll see, like, there's a lock washer, right? I'm gonna put this washer down. You have a, you'll have a screw, a lock washer, and then a washer. So here you'll see, these are the, this is where the barrel was. There's a hole here, and there's a hole here. We want this hole. We're gonna take this plastic back off. We're gonna feed that screw through the bottom of that hole. Then we're gonna put a washer on top. And then we're gonna put that post that comes in the kit onto this. Wash it. And we're going to tighten this down a little bit. Nothing crazy. 
You got the lock washer. Now our post is in. And we're going to put this back. And then the next step is for this guy. So how does this guy move? So this goes in here. We're going to take the other screw with the washer. And we're going to put that on top. Tighten this one down. So when we tighten this down, we want, I'm going to try and show you, we want it so the SMD is pointing straight down parallel to the plastics. And we're going to tighten that down. So we're going to crank on that a little bit, just enough. So now we have our LED for the lighthouse up, up and running in its spot. We're going to put this rubber back on. Go this way. So then when we feed, when we put this plastic back on, we're going to feed that, that connector back through this hole. There's only one hole here. That's where it goes through. That's where the connector goes through. That's where the spotlight goes through. So all that kind of gets fed down through. And you kind of reach down and pull down on that too. Uh, to get that connector down through. Okay, so our plastic's down. The next step. We're going to take our lighthouse. And we're going to feed. Here's a pro tip. I don't have a, a hair dryer with me right now. But if you want this wire nice and straight, Heat this wire up with a hair dryer. Nothing crazy, just enough to get it straight. That'll 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 get that wire nice and straight, so it's easier to feed, and it's not all out of shape. Depending on how old your game is, wire memory takes shape, and it kind of becomes harder. So then, your lighthouse, the wires all the way through. I like to have it all the way down through, and then our next step is is we got to get this wire into that slot, All right? It's going to go through there, and then we got to get it down below. So we're going to kind of feed this wire through here with the other connector. It's all kind of we're doing this all at the same time. And then we got to get this all lined back up. Just like that. Everything looks good. Our wires are down through. Our lighthouse mod is in place. Then we're going to put our... And if When you're working here, you want the wire to come around the SMD. You can kind of see it in the hole of the lighthouse. Jen won't really be able to show you how it goes. But you want it to go around. And then we're going to, you know, push our lighthouse down, you know, our spotlights here. Jen's going to try and show you, like, what I'm looking at. See, like, right through here, this wire needs to be on this side of the post. It needs to go around this way, not that way, around this way. So we want this wire to go around this way, and then our lighthouse is going to lay nice and flat, right? Perfect. So when we get to this point, kind of want to gauge where we're at because if you're going to have a little bit of movement not too much on the spotlight we're going to go back and we're going to get that long post and that's a small washer uh, and we're going to install that so we're going to pause the video and we'll be right back all right so we're back uh small washer 
Tiny washer, not these big fenders. Tiny washer. I believe it's included in the kit. Uh, I think I included the one. Spotlight post. Okay. So we got that. Finger tight. Nothing crazy. Just enough. Sleeve. This is the air guard sleeve. This is going to go, I believe, with the notch up. Um, yep. Notch up. Then we're going to take our air guard. That extra piece that came in your kit, we're going to remove this plastic this paper for the air guard. Take that off. Double sided. Hey. I have no fingernails. But I'm doing the best I can. Take these off. <laughs> All right, so our air guard goes on like this. This wire goes up through the slot in the back of the air guard, designed that way. Up through here, the spotlight goes over see how like this this y shape goes over the post we're going to kind of lay that there for a second we're going to go get those tiny screws that held the original air guard in we're going to put one back here that one when you screw this one in remember there's a screw underneath we're gonna hold the post and screw that down doesn't have to be crazy tight now we're gonna put the spotlight cover on with the washer so spotlight cover washer on top Right? Up and over. And we're going to screw that in. You can see it's coming together. We're going to point this spotlight. We're going to start the spotlight out here. We're going to start to tighten, 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 tighten. And then we're going to turn in. That hey, gives us that extra tightening. What's up, buddy? We're gonna point that at the boat. All right, so our lighthouse is in, uh, our air guard is in. We have to put this back uh, nut on, which is one of the small ones, remember? That is a 5 sixteenths. Put that on and start to button this, button this guy up. So our next thing is Put that the house bracket on, right? So house bracket goes on. Two washers, one on each top and the bottom. This is the five sixteenths also. Tighten these up. Yeah, uh, these weren't crazy tight either. They're lock nut, uh, nothing crazy. We're gonna plug that connector back in where you unplugged it from. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna put our shack back on. Two black screws, easy peasy. Start with the top one. Top one in. And do the bottom one. Nice and tight. All right. Now it's time to install our habit trail. So our habit trail comes in through the back. 
This is the first time I'm putting it in. How smooth will it be? Like butter. We do need to take these off. So we'll take the happy tray back out. Because I overestimated it. Of course, I need my five, six. And listen, remember we put these uh, 11.30 seconds. Here, we don't have one here anymore because that's where the spacer and washer were. We're going to throw washers on that to protect the lighthouse though. So the washers that came off of here, we're going to reuse. but not the spacer. One washer on top. Washer on top. Not. Washer on top. Washer on top, and a nut. <coughs> so how I usually put these habit trails back in, I always start down here where the ball drops into the, the lane. And I always want to get that as straight as possible. Uh, centered as possible into the lane just so there's no hang-ups uh, on jaws actually the lane is pretty big so there's plenty of room uh, on this one I you know keep it maybe like two millimeters away from the lighthouse and again we're not cranking hard down on this this is a lock nut it is going to stay put three finger tightness this back one you can crank on all you all you want, but nothing crazy, guys. You know, just get it down, get it set, and you're good. Um, so then we have our zip tie for our wire, just to keep it in place. And what I like to do is put the zip tie on, kind of like. Get it low so that air guard stays stays put. Put that zip tie on. Your wire's going through. We're going to get our wire clippers. We're going to clip off that access. That's done. And now all we have to do is button up the underside, and then we'll sh we'll show you where that that extra bumper bumper barrel. That bumper barrel is gonna go. So we'll lift this up. So two connectors. This is our RGB LED. In your kit, you're going to have a uh, extendo link. Uh, it's gonna go here. Plug that in. Plug. I would go on this side so we don't get caught up ever when we're going up and down on our play field and then this one goes here that's it guys the only other thing left is the uh, the extra barrel so the extra barrel so in your kit you're going to get one of these sticky things uh, and an alcohol prep pad And they open the door and it's 40 degrees outside. It's a little cold. So with this alcohol prep pad, I think you guys kind of understand what's going to happen here. We're going to wipe this down. Let that dry off. Um, so 
you can put this barrel wherever you want. You want it up here. I don't know if you want it on the boat. Um, but back here in this corner, there's a cutout. So you can you can put it here. You can put it over here. You can you can put it over here. I mean, it kind of almost fits behind the, the lighthouse too. I know there is a mod coming from a big time modder that's putting a mod there. Um, no, not going to full disclose who it is, but for the team. For the time being, I would probably just throw the barrel back. So you take your your double sticky, you know, gooey thingy, put it on the bottom here, press down pretty good, remove the other side, and we're just going to put our barrel back here. That's it. That's it. Uh, lighthouse is in. So here's what we're going to do. The game's off the floor right now. We're going to move it back onto the floor, power it up, and give you uh, a full look at this game when it's all lit up and the lighthouse is rocking and rolling. So we'll pause the video. We'll be back in the next five minutes. All right, guys, we're back. We're inside Pin Brew. It's super loud. Uh, we're just going to kind of do like a quick show the lighthouse um, it's all installed it's all lit up looks good we got a thumper bumper also mod installed on this game shark towers coming shark checks coming and then we have one other mod that's going to be coming for this game uh very soon then we'll be back to teaser godzilla mod and 007 and stuff like that but hope you guys enjoy it Install was pretty smooth, not too bad. Thanks again. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me. Out of inside. I can't make change. The only change is color steering the game mode. So as game modes are running, that's when the shark, the lighthouse, will actually change to blue or yellow or green or red, corresponding with the mode that's actually running in the game at the time. That's it guys, thanks.